I have two things plugged into the Electrique's breakout board. The motor bit. It's the motor bit again because there's some motor connectors here. I have a button plugged into pin 9, the signal pin, and the voltage pin. I also have a NeoPixel strip plugged into pin 13. Now these connectors needed alligators to female ends. Again, you're going to need to buy several different kinds of wires, connectors, male to male, male to female, female to male, alligator clips to female, alligator clips to male. Pop on Amazon to find those jumper clips. Um, I set up a little program on here. Let's see if we do a startup. Let's see if it'll reset. So on reset, I just had it on, on start. I just have it showing some color, some rainbowish kind of color. And then if I press button A, it should go all red. If I press button B, it goes clear, turns it off. And if I press this button, which is on nine, it I set it up to be in two pieces of ten LEDs each. Again, that's just a coding thing. Um, I'll show you that coding in a minute. But as a matter of the button connectors, I connected one side of the button. If you see, there's two things on the button to connect. And one went to signal, one went to power. I could have put one to ground instead of power. Um, so again, it's the logic of your coding. If you want things to happen when you get ground, you want things to happen when you get one idea. Um, I, you could have plugged it into anywhere. The thing you have to start paying attention to, though, is on the micro bit. Those pins have conflicts built into them. Like, I wouldn't want to plug it. If I'm using button A, I don't want to plug it into pin 5. Because pin 5 is button A. Um, but if I wasn't using button A, I could plug it into pin 5. That's that's, that's what you got to pay attention to. Um, I also plugged the NeoPixels up into the place that could be 5 volts just because I think they'll run better on 5 but if I flip this down to 3 they still do okay. I just wonder how many NeoPixels you could do um, with 3 volts. So that is uh, that. Uh, that's why I plugged it in up there. Again, there's three connectors. There's a power, there's a ground, and there's a signal. Make sure you're not touching things here. Um, these are nice little arcade buttons. Just you know, go to Amazon and look for arcade buttons. I forget what size these are, but again, your fingernail is a centimeter. So these are about uh, two centimeters across. Maybe it's like 19 millimeter button, something around there. Um, I think that's a good size to play for kids to play with. Uh, so let's peek at code a little bit. So I wanted to make sure that I eliminated some um, conflicts because again, some of those are used for the like pin nine that I'm plugged into is actually the one of the columns of the uh, LED array. So I had to disable the LED array. I had to set up a strip. That strip's a variable. I could have called it anything. Uh, to tell it it had NeoPixels on pin 13, and there's 30 of them. If I only tell it there's 20 of them, only 20 of them will um, light up. And then I started off just by showing the strip of rainbow. It, I didn't have to do that. And then in my forever loop, if I press button A, show red. Else if I show button B, set the strip to clear, and show the strip. Notice how this already has show in it. Um, you got to make sure you show the strip. And then here is the uh, digital read pin 9. Again, if you look on the breakout, it's kind of telling you some of those are analog and the rest are digital. So that's just going down into the pin segment. Um, set range was the red thing. So it was here, set the range. So again, I, I made some variables, range one, range two. You call them anything you want. Um, and set the strip from you know zero to zero to, with 10 LEDs and started at 10 with 10, 10 more LEDs. 
show with purple, show with, show with uh, green. I probably have an extra show here because those already have show in them. Um, you do have to add the NeoPixel extension. So you got to go to extensions and you got to click on the NeoPixel one. So I'm right there to get the NeoPixel thing here. And that's the, you know, set range, set strip, show strip in different colors. Um, some more things you can do. You can set each individual pixel to a color. You can set it to a mix of uh, RGB values that you want. All sorts of things you can do. Uh, so there's the basic hookup for the Electrofreaks motor bit with some LEDs and a button to uh, do some things with it. Playing around with these uh, NeoPixels and a button on the Electrofreaks breakout board which is powered through the micro bit and uh, two AA batteries. At three volts again the LEDs can run with with the three. Um, you can switch it to five if you need but something interesting is happening um, if you play with it on the three on this board, because I, I got it wired the same way I did, had the same pins, pin nine and pin thirteen. Well, on this board, pin nine is um, a high voltage pin. Is a five volt pin, so it makes things do funny work funny because. Um, I don't know why. For example, if I put it at three, I can do the red and the, the, the red and clear, but the button is not make it there we go. See it, it, it doesn't make it happen at the right time. Then it should clear with button B, but it's not clearing. And I think it has to do with um hook hook I don't know what it has to do. Maybe the battery is you know wearing out and not doing the right amount of power but again that should clear but it's like this is getting stuck in a high in a high position um in the code see when i switch it to voltage it does funky things um so that's something in the coding yes so again look I, i'm flipping green and it's just going back to the red for the uh, uh going back to the green for the button press um, so there's, you know, you gotta, maybe there's a lot, no, I can't, it's not logic in the coding. It's just for some reason, I wouldn't want to plug it in this way because it's not working right. So I would work to, you know, do, use a different set of pins for the, for the input. I was just using the same set of pins that I used on this board. And it just so happens that uh, the input pin that I was using is on the high, is on the high voltage part here. See if we'll go on. Ta-da! But again, it won't clear like it should. So, um, so that's what you gotta pay attention to. You know, if you're just switching from one board to another and just plugging the same things in, sometimes the pins are in different ways. Um, maybe it's the power from the battery is not right. So, um, I mean, I can flip back and forth between uh, the, the pin getting power and the pin getting ground to try and make things happen, but you don't want it to be switching. Um, so again, there's, there's always some little uh, logistics you gotta tweak with. So figure it out on one board and stick with that board.